Hello everyone. Welcome to session 24 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, we are going to continue with the live project. That is part 16 of this independent software testing live project where I am going to explain what is smoke testing and when we have to perform this smoke testing. So let's get started. So far, as part of this independent software testing live project, we have covered we have covered a lot of stuff so far, guys, as part of this, right? In the previous sessions, the previous sessions, I covered a lot of things as part of this independent software testing live project where uh, I explained how a project begins. Right, this is the first step we covered. After the project begins, uh, I explained about the domain knowledge. Right, we need to learn the domain knowledge related to this particular project. Domain knowledge of the project, we need to learn. Third thing, then I explained the next step as exploring and understanding the application, right? Exploring and understanding the application. All these things are covered in the previous session, right? After exploring and understanding the applications, we created a test plan, test plan document we created. After creating the test plan, we created test scenarios. Then after creating the test scenarios, we created test cases for all the test scenarios. So complete, complete test cases we created, right? After creating the complete uh, test cases, then I explained you and uh, showed you a checklist, UI testing checklist. As part of this test cases, guys, there was one test case written where you need to verify uh, that particular functionality according to the UI checklist. So that UI checklist we created later. This is the UI testing checklist. Fine, once all these things are ready guys, okay, once all these things are ready, then I explained how to prioritize the test cases. So, so, so far we have covered so much of things, right? Now in this session, the next step, once we are done, creating the test cases and the UI testing checklist and all those stuff. The next step is test execution guys, right? We have to execute the test cases. The next step is we have to use the test cases for testing purpose. We have to perform the testing with the help of these test cases. But guys, the problem here is, do we have to execute the complete test cases? Do we have to execute the complete test cases? The answer is initially you should not do this, okay? So, so when you read this particular creation of the completion of the test cases, guys, uh, an application may be given for your testing. The developers may give the application for testing. This application, let's say the developers have given this particular application for your testing. Now, this is the first time the application is given for you for testing, guys. So what type of testing do you perform? Do you execute the complete test cases? In this case, when the application is given for the first time for your testing, do you execute the complete test cases? What's the answer guys? The answer is no. So initially when the application is given for our testing, we'll not be performing or we'll not be executing the complete test cases as part of testing. So in detail testing will not be performed guys, rather, First, we'll perform a high level smoke testing, okay? First, we'll perform smoke testing, guys. So what exactly is smoke testing? So here, we will not perform the in-detail testing with the help of the complete test cases. Rather, we'll perform smoke testing when the application is given initially. So what will be the smoke testing, guys? What is exactly the smoke testing? Smoke testing is a testing of the major or critical functionalities of the application, okay? So smoke testing is a type of testing in which only the major or critical functionalities of the software means application are tested on the provided application, 
only the major or critical functionalities in the application will be tested guys rather than testing the instead of testing complete application instead of testing the complete application we will be only testing the major or critical areas of the application okay before going to the in detail testing of the application or complete testing of the application we will only test the major or critical functionalities of the application guys so before moving to the detail testing phase we will only test the major or critical functionalities so why what is the purpose guys okay why don't we have to perform the complete testing here we have the possibility of uh, using the complete test cases for testing the complete application right that is in detail testing we can perform right but before performing the in detail testing why we have to perform the smoke testing when the application is given uh, for us for testing the reason here is the reason here is if the major or critical functionalities of the application are not working it's not recommended to test the complete application guys so whenever an application is given to you you have to first check whether that application is at least working at a major or critical level okay major or critical functionality level it should work guys then only we have to move to the in detail testing complete testing we should not perform in the first go so what if this mock testing fails okay what if this mock testing fails what you will do let's say you are given this application and now you know that you don't have to perform the complete application testing first thing that you will do once the application is given for testing is uh, you'll perform one type of testing known as smoke testing where you will be only testing the major or critical functionalities of the application so let's say this major or critical functionalities of the application fails then what you will do simply guys you will reject the application okay reject the application and return it back to developers we will send an email to the uh, like a uh, client or developers guys in case of independent software testing live project you will be sending an email back to the client saying that uh, uh, we have received the application and we have started performing the smoke testing and this application has failed our smoke testing and so and so major uh, critical defects are there in this application like that we have to do okay so we have to we should not do the complete testing guys we have to only do the smoke testing first and reject the application and uh, send it back to the client asking him to fix the major or critical functionalities okay asking him to make the major or critical functionalities of the application work first so that you can do the entire testing so in detail testing cannot you see it is a reputation guys okay the major reason why you are rejecting the build here after the smoke testing fails you are re simply rejecting the application by sending an email to the client saying that uh, the smoke testing failed so we will not be able to continue our testing please uh, fix this major or critical functionalities then only we can perform the in detail testing such kind of email you will send to the client the reason here is it's not it will become a duplication or unnecessary thing guys for example if the major or critical functionalities are not working there will be lot of blockers in the test cases okay you will not be able to test a lot of the test cases and also once this uh, major or critical functionalities are fixed then you can properly test the application guys okay without this major or critical functionality is not working it's not it's not a proper way of testing the application guys okay so that's the reason guys at least the major or critical functionalities of the application should work then you can do the complete application testing fine this is the reason why we have to perform smoke testing so once you reason your application for testing you should not be performing the complete testing guys first you have to perform the smoke testing once the smoke testing is passed then only you have to perform the in detail testing for example if the smoke testing fails you have to reject the application by sending an email to the client or respective person saying that the major or critical functionalities of the application are not functioning okay so there are some defects in the major or critical areas of the application kindly fix before we perform the in detail testing and we are simply rejecting the bill you have to mention in that email and send it back to the client the client has to uh ask his developers to fix the defects the client or poc on the other side of the client has to send the email to the have to communicate with the developer saying that uh, fix all these issues and uh, give the new application or build to the testing team so that they can again perform the smoke testing and once the smoke testing is passed they will perform the complete application testing so that is a process guys hope you understood what is the process now right so let me now show you a uh, how we can perform smoke testing on a real application let's assume that this application is given for testing and instead of we performing the complete testing guys 
what we'll do is we'll identify some major or critical functionalities of the application and see whether they are working first if they are working only we'll accept the build and perform in depth testing so with that mindset let's start so the first thing i see is that uh, for everyone to use this application right this register account functionality should work right so let's see whether the register account functionality works or not so i'll give something like a uh, okay some number gmail.com here some password i'm giving all the valid credentials guys so you don't have to do any negative testing here just check whether the major application functionalities are uh, working in a positive flow guys okay don't worry about the negative flow just positive flow at least you are able to create an account or not that's matters and register account is one of the major or critical functionality of the application without registering an account without registering an account you cannot use the application entirely right so you have to do that come continue you see the account has been created and click on continue you are taken to the you have you got logged in and you, you see a lot of options here uh, that you see generally after logging in fine this is working fine so i'll log out and again the next major functionality or critical functionality of, of the application that i generally test is the login functionality guys without login it's not correct right this is a one login is a one of the major or critical areas of the application so with the experience guys you can identify with the experience you will come to know what are the major or critical areas of the application fine once you explore the application completely you will get to know what are the major or critical areas of the application click on login are able to login guys without any problem so this login is also for, for working fine the next thing that i generally do is like uh, i'll try to test a end to end scenario what exactly the uh, end user does on this application so what is this application meant for the application is meant for purchasing something right so you can uh, from this e-commerce application you can purchase one of the product let's say you can par purchase this uh, imac okay let's uh, you can purchase some imac from this uh, application let's do that let's uh, that is an other major one so which will cover the major areas of the application automatically i'll simply search for imac to see whether such functionality is working yes such major critical area of the application functionality of the application search is working as you got the search results now from here i'll click on add to cart so add to cart functionality is also major critical so after that shopping cart is coming we'll go to the shopping cart you see this is the flow guys okay so so shopping cart then i will see i'll click on check out you are able to proceed or not then i will give the credentials i'll give the credentials to login login so yeah we got check into the checkout functionality is also taken now here building details i'll give so then i'll click on continue then i'll click on continue i'm i am not testing that much guys okay i'm not testing each and every area in detail at a high level i'm checking at a high level i am checking the major and critical areas of the application as you can see here i am not in detail testing the billing details or in detail testing the delivery details or delivery method i am simply clicking on continue and going forward right i'm just clicking on continue and going forward so using the mandatory options and all i am just going forward and confirming an order if the order has been successfully placed things are working fine this scenario this was the one of the major and critical area of the application guys so if this particular Uh, three to four scenarios are working like registration login okay placing an order by going through all the different set of pages that we generally go through while testing this application if the three or four areas of the application are working so that means that the critical and major areas of this functionality of this application is working fine guys and we'll simply say that this mock testing has passed in our case in our independent software testing live project that is on this particular application our mock testing has passed guys we have successfully passed our smoke testing okay so we are not going to reject the builder application so this has not failed in our case in our case whatever the application has given for our testing right uh, we have performed the smoke testing by identifying some three or four major or critical area functionalities of the application and uh, once uh, it didn't take much time right it took almost like uh, not more than 10 minutes also okay 5 to 10 minutes it will take guys okay if you carefully observe just 5 to 10 minutes you are able you will be able to complete the smoke testing and all the major critical areas of the application that you identify got passed so what what's next guys when once it is passed once some smoke testing is passed what you will do now you have to plan for the in depth or in detailed and in detailed and in depth testing complete testing you have to plan 
once the smoke testing is passed then you have to go for the complete testing how can you perform the complete testing you will start the you will you will start the complete testing using the test cases guys first you will use the test cases for performing the complete testing once the test cases are done you will do some other things also i'll explain that in upcoming sessions so for now guys this session is all about smoke testing when we have to perform what is smoke testing and when we have to perform smoke testing once the application is given for testing first we have to perform smoke testing and then we then if the smoke testing is passed then only we have to go to the in depth and in detail testing otherwise the smoke testing fails you have to reject the application and send an email to the client or poc asking them to fix the major areas of the application before proceeding to the in depth testing so guys uh, this is all about this uh, session about smoke testing and in the next session we'll continue with the next steps so see you in the next session guys thank you bye